what's up family so it is now Wednesday and we're just gonna run a couple errands I need to go to Sam's and get some snacks for my babies because they've eaten all their snacks for school so I need to get them some snacks not only for school but also like snacks for home because that's normally why their snacks go so fast is because they eat their school snacks when they're just like hungry in between meals when they're home. So we need to go to Sam's, pick up some snacks. I also need to go to the dollar store to pick up, oh, beauty blenders. Because I don't know if you guys can tell, so there's like a glare on my screen right now, but I did my makeup today. I haven't done it, I feel like in months. like since mask became like mandatory everywhere for everything like all the time I just haven't felt the need to do my makeup because it's just gonna rub off on my mask and it's no point like you don't get to see it like poor lipsticks like they just drying out because I haven't opened them like I haven't done anything to them so I don't know today I just felt you know a little fancy just a little bit just a little fancy so I just did something quick Real quick makeup, a little bit of highlight, um, some liner, and some lip gloss. Not lip gloss, but like lipstick. So, yes, some light. So, I realized, saying after saying all that, I realized that I don't have any beauty blenders. I think I threw them away because it was time. Like, I had them for a while, and I started washing them, and they were just like crumbling in my hand. Well, they weren't crumbling. I'm exaggerating. But, like, it was time. So, I need to go get some beauty blenders. If I'm going to, like, make this a thing and start doing my makeup again. Not really sure on that. Um, I also need to call the doctor's office because the boys need to get their flu shots since they're going to start aftercare. I swear, I feel like I get rid of three bills just to create five more. So since both boys are now doing aftercare, something else that I need to add to my budget and to the plan because th their aftercare here is expensive. Like it's expensive. So need to make them um, doctor's appointments to get their flu shot. And I also, I need to find, I need to call the hairdressers and make an appointment because I want to get this out of my head. Like it looks cute right now. But you can't touch it like you can't do nothing like my nails keep getting snagged on it like it just tangles you can't try to style it no kind of way because you gotta just leave it alone or else it just tangles and then it just this gotta go so i need to call the hairdresser to make an appointment because i can't do this anymore i don't know how other people do it this is not for me like i feel like i just every morning i have to go with the scissors and try to clip as many flyaways and tangles as I can because this is just this is a lot but okay let's go to Sam's and to Dollar Tree before I have to pick up the boys and somewhere in betwixt and in between all of that I will call and make these appointments we are now at Sam's I went to the Dollar store already um, oh god I got my keys I already went to the dollar store. I didn't record that because I was just grabbing little like knick-knack things. But I did get my beauty blenders. And now we're going into Sam's.
Okay, so I feel like such a fool. <sighs> I've been riding around from place to place with this sitting in like the, like you know the little cavity where your windshield wipers are? I'm guessing Thomas left this in the, there to say like, hey, you need to put a gas treatment in your car. But he didn't tell me such, and I didn't see it when I dropped the boys off for school this morning. I didn't see it when I got back in the car to come out to the stores. I didn't see it when I got in or out of the car, leaving the Dallas store. I just now saw it when I went to go take my car back at Sam's, and I was walking back to get in the car, and now I saw it. And the whole time, it was just chilling between the hood of my car and my windshield wipers. Oh boy. So, got the snacks for the boys. Um, I got the big pack of brownie bites because I figure I can just put them in the little snack um, bags that I got from Dollar Tree for the boys for lunch. Divvy it up and do it that way because it's three rows, yeah, well, like three layers of 16. So, Whatever that math is, is how many is in there. But I still need to get uh, pull-ups for Theo. Because they didn't have the right size for him in Sam's. And for $33, we don't need that many. So, thankfully, Sam's and Walmart are literally right next door to each other. So I'm going to pull out of my Sam's parking spot and travel like 30 seconds through a stop sign and go to Walmart. We're back home. We've actually been back home for quite some time. Um, I think the last time I left off with y'all, I was already at home, but I left, went to go pick up the boys from school. We came back home, did homework, which y'all, it is so stressful trying to help two kids with homework at the same darn time who are in two different grade levels. Like, oh my goodness. I had to take an ibuprofen just to get through. But, help the kids with their homework. Then, we had to read for 30 minutes because that's like the last part of their homework. After we get done the division and the sounding out the, the numbers for Theo, not Jesus. I said sounding out numbers, y'all. Sounding out the letters. <laughs> like, that's how stressful it was. Like, and they both want your help at the same darn time. Like, I'm one mom. Okay? One mom with two kids. Cut me a break. Just a little bit of slack. I don't need to lie. Just a little bit. Just a little, little, little bit. So, did their homework. And now I'm just kind of in the kitchen looking at the refrigerator like hoping that it's going to tell me what dinner is going to be based on its contents because I have no ideas I have no clues on what to make whatsoever like none at all <sighs> oh I meant to tell you when I was doing like all my phone calls calling to get the boys their flu shot and all the other calls that I had to make it dawned on me as I'm checking my email, like looking for numbers for all the people I need to call. I ordered stuff from H&M for Christmas in December and I still have not got it. Like, so I looked at the tracking number, tracked the shipment. It is still waiting in the warehouse. Y'all, that was three months ago. It's still in the warehouse for three months. So I call H&M and they're like, oh, you know, of course, everyone apologizes. Oh, we're so sorry. 
then they gave some excuse about something like i couldn't even understand the woman to even know really what the excuse was all i heard was i'm sorry and then after that she kind of just sounded like charlie brown's teacher just wah, 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 wah. sorry like that's all i heard so i've also been pulling out mad job job applications so after the boys finished their homework i sent them outside to play with their little friends and that's what i've been doing filling out job applications and now i'm staring at the refrigerator and they're still not giving me no answers so guys i'm gonna end the vlog here um thank you guys so much for watching and please make sure you like comment share subscribe y'all know all that good stuff and i will see you guys in the next one <laughs> bye Take you there